Hello, my name is Mark Nagata, and I'm a senior consultant with Toronto Consulting Services. Today, we will identify and define the three parts of a construction claim. Before we define a claim, we need to define what a change is. On a construction project, a change is defined as the difference between the contract requirements at the time of bid and the actual requirements imposed during construction. And those changes might be a different site condition, design changes, severe weather, or a list of many other problems that can occur in a project. And typically on construction projects, the participants, the contractor and owner, are able to identify and resolve those changes during the construction project. However, in instances that they cannot, that change will in many times become a claim. So the way we define a, cha uh, a claim is as a unresolved change. And a claim exists typically in two circumstances. The first is where the contractor believes there is a change and the owner disagrees. The second circumstance is when both sides agree that a change occurred, however, they cannot agree on the impact of that change or the cost associated or stemming from that change. In a formal sense, a claim is a written demand by one party seeking a price adjustment, an adjustment or interpretation of the contract terms, or other relief related to the contract. Most people typically define a claim as that written demand, and that's typically where a contractor submits a claim seeking additional monies because of a change that occurred in the project. And if this happens, a contractor should be mindful of the, of the contract language in his or her contract that, that specifies exactly how a claim should be submitted. Typically, that language will identify the notice and timing requirements, and it will list the supporting documentation necessary to support the claim. On the other hand, the owner should also be mindful of those provisions and enforce the notice and timing requirements and also require the contractor to submit the necessary documentation that supports the claim. So once that claim is received and it's being evaluated, the owner should look for three components. Those components are entitlement, impact, and cost. In the entitlement section of the, of the discussion of the change, the contractor should have identified what the change is by looking at the contract and the actual conditions and identifying that a change occurred and identify who's responsible for that change. If the contractor can show that, the, that he or she is not responsible, we move on to the impacts. And what we do is we correlate that change to specific impacts or effects that were occurred on the project. And those might be delays, acceleration, loss of productivity, etc. Once the contractor has identified and demonstrated that he or she has entitlement to the change, that the change resulted in impact, then we jump to the cost section and price the impact of that change. Most construction claims only include a cost section and they very provide a very short narrative about the impacts of the cost and all construction claims should be able to correlate a change to an impact to a cost. In summary, today we discussed the three parts of a claim. We defined a claim as an unresolved change and we also said that every claim should have three parts and a contractor's claim should identify entitlement to a change should demonstrate the impacts resulting from that change, and then the costs resulting from the effect or changes to the project during uh, construction.